How does repetition help your memory? First of all, it does, okay? You know, I, I'm a two-time USA memory champion and people will always tell me, oh, my memory's terrible. I read a book two weeks ago or a month ago and I can't remember anything from it. And I'll be like, well, did you review? I'm like, no, I didn't review. I'm like, well, if I, if I don't review, I'm not gonna remember it either. So number one, repetition does help your memory. But number two, you can take that to an extreme in an improper way. A lot of people will try to learn just through repetition. You know, repetition works because it does strengthen the neural co connections in your memory. But what I mean by that is this, if you are trying to learn something just by reading it again and again, which is known as rote memorization, over and over and over again, you're writing it out again, you just keep writing it out, or you keep reviewing it over and over, or you keep saying it to yourself over and over. Repetition does work, does it work, and it plays a role in your memory, but it's also extraordinarily inefficient if that is the only thing that you're doing. When I memorized the Afghanistan memory wall, so I'm a veteran of the war in Afghanistan. I was there in 2007. When I returned from Afghanistan, I set some records, became the USA memory champion. And then in 2012, I memorized everybody who died in the war in Afghanistan in the order of their death. I had to memorize it, all 7,500 words, rank, first name, last name. But what I spent the most amount of time on is review. But how I reviewed and how I repeated is just as important as how I memorized it. I memorized it with a technique no, known as the Mind Palace and the Memory Palace, and I'm not gonna go into that, but if you wanna know what the Memory Palace and the Mind Palace is, I'll, I'll put a link down in the video or link, link someone around here. But the way I reviewed is what's important. First thing that I would do is I would do an active review, not a passive review. I would not look at the information again. I would not just read it again. When you read something again, you can trick your brain into thinking that you know the information. Instead, I would look away and I would say the information. I did another thing though where I created some audio flashcards. And here's what I mean by audio flashcards. I recorded myself saying the words. I would say, number one, Master Sergeant Evander Andrews. Number two, and I would pause. On the recording, I would pause and then I would say the answer. Number three, and on the recording I would pause and then I would say the answer. So later on when I'm driving in my car, I hear number one and then I say the answer. And then the audio pops back on and the audio says the answer. Then the, the recording says number two. The recording pauses, and as I'm driving, I hear that pause and I say the answer. In other words, it was a flash card. It was an audio flash card, though. I was reviewing not by looking at the information again, but by testing myself. I did another form of review where I wrote out the Afghanistan memory wall by hand. Maybe I would do 10% and I would write out 10%. Then I would go through and I would focus on my errors. Oh, I made a mistake here. Oh, I misspelled this here. Oh, I would misspelled this here. And then I focused on the errors and then my review was not reviewing all the information, but focusing on my errors. And then I just focused on getting my errors right. 7,500 words. The first time I wrote it out, I had 10% errors. 750 errors. That is not good. This was a tribute to honor the fallen. I would not want to write it out and every 10th word have an error when I'm trying to honor the fallen. So I wrote it out 10% errors. I focused on my errors. I got it down to 8% errors. I focused, re reviewed my errors. I got it down to 6% errors. I focused just on the errors. I got it down to 4% errors. By the time I wrote out that wall for the first time, February 28th, 2013, in downtown Fort Worth, I wrote it out from memory. It took me 10 hours. At the end of the day, I was exhausted. I put the trailer up, I put the wall up. And I, when I reassembled it the next day and I quizzed myself or I tested myself, I took the answers and I walked down the wall to see what I made seven errors. Not seven percent, seven errors out of 7,500 words. Point zero whatever percent errors. Close to perfect is out probably ever get it. But in my review, I don't just say the information over and over again and drive myself crazy. I look away, I don't look at the information, and then I see if I got it right. 
and then I continue to focus on the ones that I got wrong until I can get it as close to perfect as possible. In your review, does repetition work? You better believe it work. It is the key to long-term memory. If you don't review, you will not remember something long-term. You know, if you memorize a list of 20 items and you don't review it, it's gonna fade from your memory in about a week. But if you review it, it could stay in there long-term forever. So repetition works, but you gotta do it the right way. What is your best way for reviewing something? Type it down in, in the comments below. By the way, make sure you subscribe to this channel. I got a lot of great things on this channel, how to memorize, how to use the Mind Palace, how to review, how to learn information, math formulas. I also have a memory course. So subscribe, stay in touch, and I'll see you on the next lesson.